Hey guys, welcome to Kalen's Life. Um, so I have not posted a video in a few few days. It's actually been about a week, so I have a lot going on. I haven't ignored or I haven't forgot any of you guys. I really appreciate everybody, but I've just been so crazy busy with this move, with work. Um, my store just had an inventory, so I've been really busy with that. So I haven't really had enough time to really do a whole lot other than just these quick update uh, blogs about what we're doing or what we've been doing in the last week. But I do wanna show you something that me and Heather made um, kind of on our downtime. I had one day off, we did a little bit when I wasn't um, working. We did a lot of it when it was my day off just to kind of get away, get our brains off of the every day. Uh, hustle and bustle of work and just kind of have this project that me and her have been planning I'm so excited to show you this thing. We have been in the mo the uh, market for building and upcycling um, an old china cabinet into kind of like a buffet hutch uh, that you know the barn style the whitewash that really cool um, Thing that's going on. Well this house that we got it fit perfect so and we did it we made this we bought this thing um, and we did the hundred percent of this work ourselves from the painting to the construction to the redoing to the dismantling to buying the stuff I mean we did this we put a new countertop on it we stained it listen I'm just gonna show you it right now I am so excited about this we did this the whole thing side by side together um, and and she's not here right now uh, she's at work, but I really wanted to show you this china hutch that we did. We used chalk paint. Um, it is amazing. And uh, a couple other things that I want to show you too. But let's show you this. This is this is the uh, this is it right here. I'm going to stop the camera, flip it around, and kind of give you the walk around. But before I do that, no, I will do after or some at some point after the thing. I will show you what this looked like. I, I don't have any video of of what it was or what we were doing or during the time. I'm just gonna show you basically, kind of give you a walkthrough on it, and then I'll show you a, a picture, I'll just do a still picture of what it looked like before. Um, so, here we go. So I'm gonna turn this around, here we are. Let's just get to it. The big reveal, I'm so excited the way this thing turned out, it is awesome. Here it is. This is the china cabinet that me and my wife, Heather, made ourselves. We restored this thing. Um, basically the countertops, we redid the, whole, the countertops. This is actually solid, uh, real wood, um, newly stained. Um, I used a nice router and as you can see I put a nice routed edge on it here. Sorry. Um, kind of redid all the, the edge work. Did that. Um, this is the original the hardware and um, I just spray painted it and I'm okay with it chipping I hope it actually does chip a little bit that was my whole intent um, because I wanted to have that that aged look but at the same time that worn look I don't want it to be perfect um, the feet I redid the feet on it these are it used to actually have this crown molding skirt that came down but it had water damage so I cut it all off and I put this little skirt on it for some more support underneath and added these little feet that I got at Lowe's and um, yeah it turned out amazing you can see the distressed look on it if you get a good view we distressed everything inside just really excited to show you guys this this is something that you know we've been wanting to do for a really long time. We found this piece. Don't even want to tell you what we paid for it because you wouldn't believe me if I told you. I mean, it was I pretty much might as well just tell you nothing, but um, there's the other cabinet. So it's 100% finished through and through. Um, you can see some more distressing that we did there. Um, again, all the shelf, the color is just awesome. I, I, I hope that you can't really even I don't know if you know if it gives you enough. Let's see if I zoom in. And the cool thing was this piece of wood actually wasn't perfect. So it has this little knot right here and I love it. You can see it kind of dents, dents in and that kind of gives it just more distressed look. 
and then over here. And at first I was like, oh, it's not perfect. But then I said, oh my gosh, I think it just gives it more character. Just having that little, per you know, not perfect damage, but it's just, I, it's, it, I love it. I, I actually love that little thing and that little knot in there. Um, but uh, yeah, there it is. That is something that we did together. You could see more distressing that we did. And the backer board, I replaced this. This is a piece of paneling um, that we bought at the store as is. We didn't even touch it. That's literally how we bought it. And it's just ironic how it was gray and it matched out perfect. So yeah, there it is. That is our piece of furniture that we redid from start to finish. It, this would have been way too much to show you on a um, on a step by step, but uh, let me take you over and show you another piece that we did. All right, so this is the second piece that we actually upcycled. Um, it's kind of funny about this. We've had this for about five or six years now, and this was just a little table that, believe it or not, I found this on the side of the road and I got it. So this was actually a free little piece of furniture that I found. It just caught my eye driving down the street. I saved it, somebody was throwing it out. I don't know why, it was in perfect shape. And we finally just got tired of the black and chalk painted it. And this is called Denim Blue. And you can see we have some nice distressing on it. Um, but yeah, you can see this was all black. That's the original knob. And we didn't paint on the inside of that or that. We just did the outside. Actually, Heather did this. This was her first try, her first attempt, and it turned out perfect. Um, yeah, so this was really cool. And the last thing that we did is over here, we have some pretty cool little things that I made. Um, I took this wood, cut it down, used a router, routed the edges, got a couple of holders. This is our key holder. I haven't mounted it yet. Um, it's got a little mason jar some, for some flowers just to make it look pretty. I know all you guys are probably like, oh my God, but I, we love it. We love doing this stuff. The other thing is, um, this is Mario's treat. This goes up in here. I gotta put it back on. We took it out for moving purposes. And then we hang his leash on that. And I thought that was pretty cool. I made that myself. Um, Heather went ahead and painted the dog, the paw print on it. So that's really cool. And then the next thing is, this is actually part of our um, entertainment center. I'm gonna add some feet on the bottom of it. Again, I think we're gonna chalk paint it, kind of you know upcycle it. We're gonna add a cushion. And then this is gonna be like a little sitting bench. Um, cool thing is you can put shoes up under in there under there and that is was actually purchased at Ikea we were gonna get rid of the entertainment center but we used every single piece um, and in some way or shape or form so yeah that's what's going on with us I'm gonna flip the camera around real quick and talk for a minute and then uh, head on out of here so everybody there it is in all its glory that's what uh, we've been doing like I said I've been working a lot I haven't had a chance to do any ramen noodle videos I really am gonna try tomorrow to do a ramen noodle review video um, I put out a video last Thursday just kind of saying hey we haven't you know we're back we're here we're done moving we forgot everything's moved in uh, this video again is to show you hey we're back uh, you know don't forget about us you know please like this channel you know give us a subscribe give us a thumbs up on these videos um, you know, we're, we're growing, we're trying to uh, expand out and do different things. I got ramen noodle video tomorrow. Um, what else we got going on? I'm going on vacation next week. I got 10 days. No worky, all playy. Uh, but yeah, everybody, there it is. That was our uh, hutch I really wanted to show you. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we are going to do a little uh, tutorial, a couple tutorial videos on doing this chalk paint thing because it is super fun. It's a super way to save a piece of furniture that you otherwise probably would have just thrown out and got rid of. Um, so hopefully you will wait for that. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I might just go out and buy something um, to show you, you know, and, and kind of do like a quick, you know, tutorial it might take a week to make it or you know five or six days depending on how in-depth I get maybe I'll show you about the staining and all that good stuff so you know again hope you like this channel you know subscribe to it you know we really have fun the girls are upstairs they're doing their homework right now this is our table right now this is our dining room table yeah, that's what we eat dinner on right there I don't know how we do it but we do it no we really don't do it um, actually, that's our next project. When we get back from vacation, we had purchased an old table, and um, 
we're gonna go ahead and restore that thing, upcycle it to a, uh, a new glory. So, all right, everybody, we'll see you on that video. We'll see you on the next video. Hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna make some ramen noodles. I think I got something to review and try out, so. All right, bye. Stay awesome.